Hi, I'm Tom Sokol and I'm here to talk to you today about my sled, a 2009 MXC TNT 1200, which I've stretched into a Renegade here just this fall. Um, to start off about what kind of pros there are about it, I like the fact that I can use 87 octane fuel, um, I don't have to pour oil or buy oil, um, pretty much, you know, the reliability that comes with four stroke. Uh, cons would probably have to be, uh, and, and this is something that you guys pointed out repeatedly in the past, the uh, long intake tract, so the throttle delay that's in it. Um, I've done some things to help remedy that, uh, put a PB80 clutch on, um, and like I said, uh, turned it into a Renegade because I wanted a more planted feel, so I purchased a used factory uh, SC5 suspension, which is the same as this model here, and moved the brackets back. Uh, my friend's a metal worker, and we moved the brackets back as opposed to adding brackets. Um, and then I installed a 1352 Cobra track. So, <clears throat> basically, that's what I did. And again, cons, some of the stuff they've addressed with the new 900 Turbo, okay? Um, you obviously you're getting about 20 more horsepower. Um, it's a better looking sled. I'm sure it's a better handling sled. Um, but I don't think they've got all the kinks worked out yet. Uh, the P drive yet to be determined. You know if that's going to work on this motor, or if they're going to have the same teething pains that they had with the uh, initial clutch that was on this that I had to replace with the PV80. Um, so as far as development we're going to see about this first model sled. What I would do, um, if, I, if I was talking to Skidoo, and I'm not necessarily playing loyal, but um, I have been a customer for probably the last 12 to 15 years. Prior to that, I rode uh, Polaris, and prior to that, I rode Articat, but when I was a kid, um, Skidoo was, was primarily what I rode. But anyhow, what I would say is there's a market out there that you're missing, um, and you're leaving money on the table. This uh, Yamaha um, phenomenon with this Genesis motor of theirs um, and pushing over 200 horse stock out of the box, I know Rotex has the capabilities to, to outdo that. Um, and I know um, BRP has the abilities to build a chassis around a motor that will handle that kind of horsepower. I guess what I'm asking for is a, is a hyper sled again. Um, call it the Mach Z, call it whatever you want, call it the, you know, call it what you want. But I think there's opportunity there at the top uh, and would really like to see something in excess of 200 horse. 